Since beginning his speed car career in 1998, Western Australian Scott Glazebrook has been a fan favourite due to his on-track exploits and his cheerful disposition. Glazebrook's achievements out west have been well documented. Since winning the WASDA Rookie of the Year in 1998, he's won eight Wild West Country Series titles, eight Perth Motorplex Speed Car Track Championships, eight WASDA President's Cup Awards and two Western Australian Speed Car titles. Like many of his fellow competitors, Glazebrook grew up with a family that fully embraced the speedway culture and he knew from an early age that the sport would play a strong presence in his life. I guess back in 98, um, I used to always hang out with like my family always raced, my dad's always raced. Um, basically when dad had enough, he decided to get out and give me the opportunity to have a go and I was very fortunate to be able to jump in and, and get straight into it. My, um, my older brother Mark, he also raced for a number of years, um, but due to work commitments and family and stuff he had to give it away. But um, we've always been a, a family based sort of uh, outfit. Originally from Western Australia, not far from the motorplex uh, either I might add. Uh, how beneficial was that growing up uh, in Western Australia and also uh, near a speedway? Uh, it was great. Like, um, I probably I started racing when I was uh, about 12. We had a lot of uh, close tracks to the CBD. We had like Bibber Lake Speedway, it was a really little bull ring. Um, I started racing there in a quarter midget. Um, but yeah, there was you know, a lot of family outings with, with mum and dad and my brother and, and, and now my wife. Um, yeah, it was a good, good, good way to get into the sport. Glazebrook is one of six contracted drivers from Western Australia to contest the inaugural Speed Car Pro Series and he currently sits fourth heading into tonight's final round. The Bertram resident is proud to be a part of a history-making series this season. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, we're running fourth in the points at the minute out of the guys um, and it's, it's pretty tough. Like The series has, has gone to a lot of good venues um, and a lot of good fast racing. Um, we're just really privileged to be a part of it and yeah, like you said, it is going from strength to strength and I think next year it's going to be even bigger again. It's remarkable, as you said, that you are running in fourth. You've certainly had your fair share of ups and downs uh, this series, haven't you, if you'd like to elaborate, Iceman? Yeah, I think we've, uh, we've been to the back a lot of times that we probably shouldn't have. We've been taken out a couple of times, that sort of stuff, but that's all part of racing. Uh, Adelaide, we got taken out, had to go to the back and come back through the pack. We ended up riding a wheel and didn't finish that show, so that was a bit disappointing, but yeah, we're running fourth. I would have liked to finish in the top three because that was my aim. Um, but it's going to be tough tonight to get into that. Away from his speed car and family commitments, Glazebrook works as a rigger in the construction industry. And whilst he loves his job, as well as his racing, he says finding a balance in life is not easy. Uh, I work for a company called Slurig Constructions. Um, and they, they actually help us out, they sponsor us on the car, they look after us. Um, we do a lot of structural steel erection, uh, commercial stuff, residential stuff, a lot of high rise stuff back in, in, well, back in Perth, mainly in the CBD in Perth. Um, but yeah, it's pretty full on and it's exciting and, and the, the company itself is moving forward and getting bigger. So, You mentioned earlier off camera, uh, Scott, you don't get a lot of free time on your hands, do you? Especially with two kids and then you've got Kelly as well. <laughs> nah, nah, I definitely don't. Between work and, and racing and the kids racing, um, it's, yeah, it's pretty full on, like it's really enjoyable, but it takes a lot of work to do it as well. So um, I think in the next couple of years it's going to be even busier too when Diesel starts racing, so I've got that to look forward to. Although Glazebrook is no longer in contention to win the Pro Series, just being a part of it has inspired him to travel more over the next few years. His eventual career goal is to win the Australian Speed Car Championship. I'd really like to, uh, to try and get Australia one. I think that, you know, that's pretty much my main ambition. But at the minute, we're just enjoying it. We're doing what we love. Um, and it's good to get on the road, like with this series. There's a lot of good WA guys that we all you know, have a lot of fun with. And it's just good to get on the road and have some good, good clean racing. And the best thing about racing a speed car? Oh, I think it's just the fact that you know, it's open wheel and, and you, you, can get, you can get close and you can rub some people, but you know, it's, it takes a bit, of, you know, a bit of give and take and you can't be too aggressive. Sometimes you're better off being a bit patient and choosing when you want to be aggressive. Um, but yeah, I love it. I've driven a couple of other things like a late model and a sprint car and I've got to say I enjoy the midget the most. Well now it's time for Woman Behind the Man and we're here with the lovely Kat Mitchell, soon to be Kat Kingshot down the track, uh, the partner of Dane Kingshot. Kat, thanks for joining us. Um, why don't you tell us how, how you and Dane met and how he swept you off your feet? Uh, we met on New Year's two years ago um, through mutual friends, my best friend and one of his best friends. They both date, so yeah, just happened like that. 
And when you started seeing Dane, what was it about him that really pushed your buttons? Um, I don't know really, he's just cute, funny, he just, yeah, just him. What's Dane like away from the track? And we should also ask you, what's the most romantic thing he's ever done for you? He's not a very good romantic. <laughs> um, he's very lazy at home. Very, very lazy, to tell you the truth. Um, living, yeah. living together already, are we? Yes, yeah. yeah Things are getting out. serious. They are. I'm waiting for a ring. <laughs> and how long have you been with Dane for, Kat? Two years. Yeah. And what's something that really gets him fired up? Um, losing races. Probably. What would your life be without Dane Kingshot? Um, pretty boring actually. Um, mainly work, so he sort of yeah takes up most of it, so it's good. Check it